right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, so we should talk about Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, we, Goku was announced now, you know, yesterday, like a, a long time ago, right? Like it's, what, 36 hours, something like that, since uh, Tanabata LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku has been officially announced. Um, remember that this is a full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku as well, which is really good because this means they could drop us like a Super Saiyan 4 Goku from like the Super 17 fight that does a final explosion and these guys could work together. Like definitely a, a, like, sort of like a, a good pick um, to go, I think, here with full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, the typical timing, which basically is for anything that's not worldwide and anniversary would be we get the Dokkan event teaser 24 hours later, which would have been the 27th at 4 a.m. We would get details. Sometimes they do it right before the data download. Typically, the data download is around 10 p.m. my time, like 10 to 10.30 range we see it. Um, and then rarely uh, they would tweet a character like right before the data download. But it, it, it is very inconsistent and uncommon. Um, let me just pull up one character just to show. Here's an example right here. LR Super Boo was tweeted at 10, 10 p.m. Um, shortly before the data download time, right? So, so that that's an example of one character doing that. Now, I do think that there is going to be a data download tonight. Because um, if we take a look at it right here, the preparation period for Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku's Dokkan event to get a new stage is today. Which means the data download is today. But... It looks like they're potentially taking a step up with Tanabata this year, and they're treating it like anniversary or worldwide download celebration level. Um, I think we are going to get... Well, I mean, I know we're getting a data download tonight, but again, I don't think Goku is going to be in it. I think that this is going to be the very rare time where they will do two data downloads in one week. This is one thing I've noticed with a lot of people, is that they haven't caught on to the fact that Dokkan does a data download every week. Unless it's like a an unbelievable uber dead period um occasionally i mean global in particular would put like you know next week's characters in like this week's data download right like they did that just recently with the tech lr cell right was put in a week early uh but typically it's one data download per week um what i'm pretty sure is going to happen here is we're going to get a data download tonight um and at bare minimum we know of two things it's going to have we're going to get a new stage for the support memory event, which is, this is fun. I really like this. I think this gives people incentive to grind free-to-play characters. And I think it also, um, the reward for the first stage was really quite good. That Bulma support memory is very powerful. Uh, actually, if we, so, so this is a GT-centric celebration. So let's just quickly take a look at the GT support memories. Again, I would imagine it's going to be one of these. Which one could they... Oh, pro probably pull out the tape. Well, well, no, because that, that's one of the original ones that was already buffed, right? Like, I, I mean, I I guess they could buff it again, but th th this one... Th this seems like the, 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 like the obvious choice, right? Because this is literally right before Goku goes, fights Baby, and goes Super Saiyan 4. So... You would think it would be this one, but this was already buffed. So the Dokkan, the original Dokkan wiki, they haven't sort of updated support memories yet. Okay, so let's go to um, the Dokkan info site. Because uh, pull out the tail, that's up to level 3, right? Along with sort of like the generic uh, kind of like default ones. Yeah, this is already a level 3. Now the Bulma one, which we did the support stage on, that gets to level 5 after we do the support stage. So I guess they probably still could do the pull out the tail, but I, I would imagine it's probably going to be a different one. Um, hmm. Bra went shopping. It definitely could be, because this is another baby saga. I mean, we'll see. Th this is sort of the start of the Black Star Dragon Ball slash baby saga. Goku becomes a kid. Uh, these are dude. This is. They really gave us a Shadow Dragon Saga permanent buff in one. Come on. Piccolo's encouragement. I mean, th this this just came out, but I guess they could. This is Baby Saga, right? This is this is the end of the, of the the arc right here. 
Uh, all keys, all allies, three key, all super class allies, plus one key in addition if there's a savior category ally in the team. So this is when HP is 59% or lower. This is a permanent buff. I mean, listen, if they gave you, like, 10% attack and defense, I, I would be, dude, that would be so strong, actually. Oh, my God. I, you know how, like, it's like you fall below 59% HP, and you're getting plus 4 key and 10% attack and defense permanently. You know how strong that is? That's, that would be really good. Holy yeah, I'd, I'd love that. Dude, I'd love to see that. No, 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 no. Oh, oh it's written wrong. Oh, no. It's... It, yeah, okay, okay. For two turns, you get the key. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it, it, it's just written wrong. There, there's there's a turn restriction in here. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't remember this support memory being that strong. Makes sense. Okay, yeah, it's for two turns. Okay, okay. They still could make this pretty good. I don't think just an HP restriction is that big of a deal. Like, like you know, you could fall below this and get a pretty sizable buff. It could be good. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But we're going to get one of those. We're also getting a new boss rush. So I, I'm going to assume that the celebration is going to start at normal time, which would be 4 a.m. on the 29th, right, is when the celebration is going to actually begin. Um, boss rush will be out. The support memory stage will be out. And we'll find out what else will be in there. Um, in the data download tonight, but what I don't think we're going to see is details for Goku tonight. So I showed Goresh uh, this right here, th this this sort of like page right here. Does it say? Uh, we will inform you about the latest information about the game regarding Tanabata campaign. Oh yeah, here we go. We also are planning to announce information about the new character. Yeah, so Goresh was pretty confident that, uh, like, we're going to see Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, in the actual Tanabata live stream. So, you know, we're, we're kind of, it's in, like, kind of a different, uh, like, situation than normal. Now, Tanabata usually is one of the biggest celebrations of the year for JP. It doesn't really end up that way for Global because Global gets kind of like a bastardized version that oftentimes pieces of it get splintered up all over the place. Um, Dokkan kind of entered into... I mean, I don't know how I want to say it. Like, Dokkan, they kind of, like, do, like, a pattern of how they release stuff. And there's a lot of instances of Dokkan, like, breaking patterns and stuff like that. But, like, they're not really breaking the pattern so much of, like, okay, we get a Dokkan Fest, then we get an LR, then we get a Dokkan Fest, right? Like, kind of like the, 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 the schedule lineup which, you know, has held true, has been going since 2019. 2018, like, like you know, if you look at the release of major characters, it looks completely different from 2019 to 2023. Um, the only real difference 2019 to 2023 would have been, like, you know, an occasion where new characters came out, like the Gammas from the movies, or, you know, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo, who had, you know, LRs, first time we've gotten LRs for New Year's, that type of stuff, right? Um, so I expect we will get Goku's info in this stream. We'll probably get a data download after the stream. Now, people, again, the whole community, 99% of you guys are global players, right? It's always global that messes these things up. When it's a JP only thing, they don't screw it up. Like the very first look we got at, um, the eighth anniversary LRs was in the live stream. And it was the same thing with the 7th Anniversary LRs as well, was it not? I remember that they leaked... It, people were able to get, like, the, um... It was, like, info out of the Dokkan event. Like, like people, like, data mined the... Like, like, like it's, like, the, the, the new, like, you know, like, the picture in the Dokkan event that showed, like, oh, like, Broly's abandoned unit and stuff like that for the 7th Anniversary. Um, but I expect our first look at Super Saiyan 4 Goku will be at this time... Data download probably would be at like 8 a.m. Eastern, and I imagine Super Saiyan 4 Goku is probably going to release right around there at like 8 a.m. Eastern as well. Um, I, I think it's going to be a very uh, unique kind of time right here uh, for when Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to actually be releasing. So we will see. Um, definitely going to be pretty exciting. The fact that they're doing a live stream, which they've never done for Tanabata before to me, 
that has me very excited and intrigued. That makes me think Tanabata is going to be fire. I mean, I know people go, oh, Dokkan has been so dead, but not actually. On JP, there's been a, a trillion things that have come out. Like, I'm... I'm behind. I'm not. I still haven't even completed all the the Turles celebration videos that I want to. Right? Like I'm behind on stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm thinking that there's going to be a data download tonight because we know that the preparation uh, date for Goku's new stage is tonight. But Goku will not be in the data download. Most other aspects of the first week of the Tanabata campaign will be in the data download. Now, I mean, people are going to be like. Oh my god, where is Baby? But, like, you know, Baby is probably going to be a major EZA, like, next week, right? Like, I would imagine Baby is going to be, ne or Baby would be next week's content or the week after, right? So, like, we would get, like, Baby as an LR EZA on, like, the, the maybe, like, the 6th or 5th or something like that, right? And then maybe the next week, the 12th, 13th, 11th, we could get, like, you know, maybe physical GT Super Saiyan Goku and in Vegeta would easy A. Like, that would make sense. And then the third week, we could potentially get an LR. Now, I should mention this, too. I've seen discussion about this. Because of the fact that we're doing, like, a live stream and stuff like that, I've seen people theorizing that perhaps this could be a three LR celebration. So they might do a part one where we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku Dokkan Fest and then a Carnival LR Baby... And then potentially we could have, you know, still like a part two LR, but it might just be like a yellow coin LR or something like that at the end of the month. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. Definitely could be intriguing. The only thing, though, is like we'll see how much this celebration, like how, what's what it's going to cover. Um, But like who Goku and Baby, but who would the other LR be? Would it be Baby plus, you know, a, a lot of the possessed hybrid Saiyans? Would Majub get an LR? I mean, I'm okay with... An, I mean, it would be a second LR, but I'm fine with that. I would probably rather Maj. I mean, honestly, Majub and Baby, I'd rather both get Dokkan Fest. Goku could have been a carnival. I would have been fine with that. And Baby could have been a Dokkan Fest. It would have been so funny because people would have seen Baby as the part one character. Like, like it. you know, imagine this is a Baby Dokkan event announce announcement. People would be really happy, but they would not be as hyped as this. But then, like, the live stream happens, and then they reveal that there's a Carnival LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the same time would be fire. I think that would be pretty cool. A three LR Tanabata celebration. So we'd have, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Carnival LR Baby. You know, this guy will... This guy, I mean, the chances that this guy easy is in this celebration, I would say, is like 99.9%. Because Goku, Trunks, and Pan, they easy ate a year ago, literally a year ago. Uh, you know, the end of July, start of August. And Baby and this character came out on the same day. So I, I would say that um, Baby easing during the celebration makes a ton of sense. Um, just make sure that the Carnival LR doesn't have the same name as this guy. And uh, he will be cooking for sure. So let me know what you guys think. Again, unfortunately, as much of a bummer as it is, they announced Goku seemingly very early considering we're not going to see him, I think, until the 29th at damn near 7 a.m. Eastern. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.